Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to talk about, again, climate risk. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, but we're going to talk about it. All right, so I got a question that says, Dimitri, is getting a sustainability and climate risk certification for an investment bank worth it? The reason this is hard to answer is because the banks have gone off their, their rockers here, and they're chasing jobs, funding, um, they're, they're, they're patting themselves on the back as much as they can. And unfortunately, a lot of really bright, good people in general have kind of just gone with the flow of, eh, sounds good. We can hire more people. Let's just go with it. Or, you know, the government's kind of forcing uh, banks to do things. Like, I think Goldman Sachs got, you know, whacked the fine recently uh, for saying they had some great ESG stuff and they ended up not really doing the ESG stuff they were supposed to do. And again, I don't know the details of it. I don't know anyone involved in it. Um, but my question being is, are they just telling the government, yeah, 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 we're doing it because they're being required to do it? Or are they saying, yeah, yeah, we're doing it um, just because we're trying to sell products and pretend they're a good company here. Um, so I'm not a fan of ESG. As many of you know, I've talked about it in the past. It adds almost no value. I've never seen any actual profitability metrics coming off of it. And then people say, whoa, but what about the planet? And um, unfortunately, that doesn't really matter when you come into investing because if investors actually cared about the planet, uh, they would do their research and they would dive more into these firms and do all this. Uh, it's just a big marketing ploy for investing companies. Uh, it makes people feel really good about themselves because they think they're doing better things. Uh, again, most of these people that, again, claim that they're environmentalists and they're for ESG and all this, um, they are very, very far from the truth. They do not use very renewable products. Uh, for example, you buy, you know, five, six, seven TVs in your house. That's a waste of money. That's dirty. Uh, you use electric cars and other things, which you think are great for the environment. Uh, unfortunately, you probably use a lot of just wasteful products in general. But to answer this question, uh, it's challenging because, no, I don't think ESG, I don't think sustainability and climate risk add any value whatsoever to banks' investments. Uh, I have yet to see any actual input on this. I've seen very many hand-wavy arguments on, you know, Dimitri, if people really want to invest in these companies and they are really sustainable and they do help the planet, uh, of course this will add value and companies can sell more investment products. Um, and it will save the planet in the meantime. Uh, I'm not going to go down that. But Again, you can say that all you want, but I have yet to seen that actually occur. So say it and actually doing it, two different things. Um, but yeah, I think it will add value in a career if you're willing to stoop as low as these firms end up doing and going down that you know, sustainability career. I want absolutely nothing to do with it. Uh, I want nothing to do with the crypto world, as I've mentioned in the past. I want nothing to do with DeFi. Uh, these are just topics. These are just buzzy things. These are just things that firms are doing because it sounds good. Um, ESG, again, is environmental, but it's also social and governance. And there's a whole slew of things with it. Um, can you use it to kind of leverage your career and make a career in this area? Yes. Uh, if you're interested in it, sure, go for it. You can add a little edge there. Um, but again, you're going to get stuck more or less in that area because, you know, in quant finance, you were super, super specialized typically. And yeah, you can bounce around somewhat. Um, but for me, there are very uh, specific keywords, uh, red flags I see on resumes. Uh, people that list out a lot of VBA, for example, is one of these. Uh, listing climate risks is like, oh, you have a fake joke risk background. You're not really a quant. Uh, those are my things. Uh, also to note, uh, one of the companies that's been selling this data, um, I've had conversations with people. I'm not going to say how I'm connected or anything or if I'm even connected to them. Um, but I talked to an individual about this that was actually at a firm and they said, yeah, they're doing this. They're selling the data. No, they don't believe in any of this, but you know, it's a product and they're selling it making money. So unfortunately, it's a money making venture. So I do think people will make good careers out of it. Um, even in a long run, like a 30, 40 year career, I think you'll have a good runway with it. So anyways, that's my two cents. Um, if you get it, great. Be expected to do a career in it. Um, but be leery that you might not have a diverse career like other people have, um, just because many people in the industry feel like I do on the bottom ends who are actually doing the work, uh, not the, you know, public facing CEOs and executives who are kind of panhandling and pushing this sort of nonsense. So anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.